Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina, and as you can tell, I am in a remote, undisclosed location. No, I'm at my aunt's house, and I'm on her sofa that is covered with covers because there's always kids, little kids in the house, and we have the curtains behind me um, protecting the plants from all the little fingers that want to pull off the leaves because, as you guys know, my aunt loves her garden and her plants so she has the you know because the kids would just go and pinch leaves and stuff off of all of the plants so these curtains like protect the plants but I figured I would explain my surroundings but I did pull this cute uh, bird pillow out because I just wanted the birds to sit next to me so it feels more like my home even though this home is more home to me than um, even my home is because I love this place more than I love the house that I live in in a lot of ways. This has been a constant. My aunt has lived here. My, I mean, I spent my summers here when I was a child and I've lived in lots of other places. So this is like home to me, if you guys can understand that, um, on some level. Anyhow, um, for those of you who are new here, um, my name is Marina. This channel's name is obviously Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm going to be doing the Dollar Tree haul, but I'm in my aunt's home because she was in an accident and I've been coming back and forth so that I can hang out at the hospital. And you know, when your loved ones are in the hospital, it's always good to have a family member um, at the hospital with them so that you can just be there. And then the hospital kind of knows that they're the person has family. I think that's my opinion. I just feel like it's better if we're there with her. And it also gives her motivation to get better faster. So, um, so that's kind of what's going on and I'll be going back home tomorrow, but I do have a huge bucket as you guys saw. I can't even so much stuff to share with you guys that I've been like swearing, Oh, I'm going to try to do a haul. I'm going to try to do a haul. So I'm, hoping to get some good sleep tonight if you guys have been watching my channel and you know there's been a lot going on we just got over the flu i've had been diagnosed with apnea but really i have a gluten allergy and i cannot have gluten because it really messes with my sleep sometimes i do get insomnia lately i don't know if it's an age thing i don't know what's going on but i'm doing the best that i can so i'm going to try to zip through this dollar tree haul get in my jammies and toss myself to sleep because sometimes if I go past a certain time, then my brain is like, oh, if I go to sleep now, I won't ever wake up tomorrow in time to like greet the brand new day. Do you guys ever get that? That's, cr that's where the crazy comes in <laughs> because who cares? Like, or, oh, I'll oversleep if I go to sleep now. I don't know. I, all kinds of crazy things go on in my head. But so far, so good. I've had a couple bumps in the road when it comes to my sleep, but no apnea, just a little bit of insomnia. Or maybe I felt, uh, you know, worried that I hadn't been here while I was having the flu. So I'm happy that I'm here. And um, let's get into this Dollar Tree haul now that I've been rambling for three minutes. Um, so I've been grabbing snacks here and there because you guys know that I'm doing the whole gluten-free trying to do sugar-free for now, at least for now, so that I don't get triggered. Gluten-free, soy-free, I do eat eggs, but certain types of eggs. And I love the So Natural freeze-dried bananas. I like all the freeze-dried fruit, as long as it's just fruit and no sugar. The strawberry ones actually do have sugar. Um, so there is that. But the strawberry banana ones don't, which is weird, right? But I guess they figure that people won't like it. Now, I know that you guys have probably already seen everybody hauling the Clean Beauty, but we'll come back to this later. But I just figured I would let you all know that I'm currently wearing the classic red Clean Beauty lipstick. Um, let me know in the comments down below who Dollar Tree is duping, because I would swear that they're duping someone and I just have not been able to quite place it yet. Yes, my nails have never looked like this. I put this... Um, stuff that my aunt has here in her house. It's like a polish that 
is supposed to help them stay healthy. I had blue polish on and they, are, they were so discolored that it actually helped, I don't know, it's like a really old polish, but it worked and uh, had like a cool smell to it. And it kind of neutralize, it neutralizes, that's the word I was thinking of. It neutralizes nail discoloration. So I'm going to take a picture of it and try to find something like it again in the future. I've never had anything like that. And this lipstick, I, I really like the color and that's what I'm wearing. Um, it has a little bit of a, I don't want to say that it has a little, it has like a taste to it that I, I can't quite, and a smell to it. I just painted my nose red like a clown, but I love the color that it is. It's not a matte lipstick. It is a cream lipstick, but it's not, or what are they calling it? Um, a satin. Okay, so it's satin. It's not really matte, but it's not cream either. And I like it because it does have a nice, um, almost like chapstick with color texture, but it has a slight something that I can't quite place. And um, it's not totally off-putting, but it's definitely worth mentioning. It says paraben-free, sulfate-free, and phylate-free. And if you have picked this product up, please let me know how you feel about the way that it tastes. Because I do like the color. I do. It has vitamin E, shea butter, rose, apricot, raspberry, and jojoba oils. Hmm. Could it be the jojoba oil that I'm tasting? It's not a, a bad. It's just a different type of lipstick flavor or scent. I don't know, but I, I'm, I'm wearing it and I've been wearing it all day and I like it. Now, more food talk. Sorry, but I've been obsessed with food. You know what's so funny? I don't know if anybody's ever done it, but when you cut sugar out of your diet entirely like I have, um, no, that's not entirely true. I did, I did. Um, in a moment of, I wouldn't say weakness. I felt like I had, I, I don't have like crazy food addiction. It's just that I don't want to trigger myself into eating carbs, but I did buy the dark chocolate from Aldi's and I did have like a smidge of dark chocolate the other night. And I got to tell you guys, if you saw my Aldi's haul, then you'll know this raspberry chocolate, the private collection dark chocolate, it does give you like a little, oh no, I think, I think this, is this the almond one? I thought it was the raspberry one. I don't, it is the raspberry one, you guys. It's so, so good. Mm-hmm. Like that little bit. I don't even, you know what's so funny? I didn't even realize that I actually love dark chocolate. Well, I guess when you're not having any chocolate at all or anything sweet at all, you love anything that has any kind of sugar in it. But um, it does something. It kind of like makes me feel happy. I don't know how to explain it. There's something really satisfying about dark chocolate that I never really had, like good dark chocolate. It does something where it kind of like changes your mood almost. But back to the boring, healthy stuff. At some point in the near future, I will allow myself some brown rice into my diet because I mean, I have cut almost all carbs out of, well, I'm not really having any carbs at all. So I'm eating meat, protein, and fruit right now. And I'm slowly reincorporating certain things into my diet, but I wanna be able to know what I've reincorporated. And that reminds me of this find that I found, this awesome food journal that I found in the Dollar Tree. And this is gonna help me because if I eat something that I reincorporate back into my diet and it triggers a, a night of sleep apnea, 
I will be less prone to continuing to allow that into my diet or not sleep apnea, like that horrible feeling like I'm suffocating because I know that the gluten honestly does make me kind of like choke when I eat it. Like just, it's not like a, uh, like I need, um, like an EpiPen, but it definitely does do something. And I know that a lot of people have like a wheat allergy. I'm not gluten intolerant, but I am allergic to wheat. And so realistically, I don't know why I thought that that wasn't the problem all this time. Obviously, I cannot have white flour. It bothers me. It causes my throat to become um, inflamed and obviously swollen. I'm constantly getting sick. So... It goes to reason that that would cause me to have a shortness of breath when I'm sleeping. I'm hoping, and I hope that this helps. And if I become skinny, well, that would be great too. But I don't think I'm gonna get skinny. Anyhow, um, I found this journal, and it says that it is Bonnie Marcus's collection. I don't know who Bonnie Marcus is, but this food journal is so nice. The colors are beautiful. I know that the lighting is not great, but I really hope that you guys are getting a cool look at the greens and purples and pinks and teals of the foil of those forks. Speaking of forks, I have not found the utensils at the dollar. The Dollar Tree is really, it's it needs scolding this week. Like with everything going on, well, maybe maybe my, my happy place was like, up, oh, my girl's sick nothing shall come through these doors and they mean it because I wanted to find utensils in every Dollar Tree and buy a little here and a little there to donate. Hello, I help people relocate or start up their new apartments. People need to eat with utensils. It would have been great if I had an abundance of that in the shed, but no go. I haven't found those anywhere. So it says, an on the go food tracker. Record what you've been eating and enjoy tasty recipes and top health tips. I think that this is so like feet when I found it. You know that when you feel good, it shows and that being healthy isn't about losing weight. It's about being mindful of your body. Wow, it's so true. You are what you eat after all. So it's just, this came at such a right time. The Bonnie Marcus Food Journal is packed full of snippets to amuse, advise, and motivate, and delicious recipes that prove that you can enjoy delicious food even if you're watching what you eat. This is your indispensable on-the-go guide to the diet dilemmas of a modern woman, your place to write, read, doodle, and feel inspired. And I'm so inspired that I got this. It really gave me the kick that I needed to start keeping a list of everything that I eat, obviously once I haul it. And the recipes that are in here, I probably may never have. I mean, I haven't really gotten a good look at them. I don't know if they're on my, yeah, whole wheat muffins. Definitely not having any of the recipes in here, but um, it's still cool that they're in here. There may be something in here that I could get, um, like some people do eat whole wheat muffins. So, you know, it's still a cool book for other people, but you know, some people eat it and I can pass the recipes along or whatever, but it's just a really nice food journal, nicer than I've ever seen. And it just came at the perfect time. Look at how cute and retro. I love that. That's all me right there. My favorite new recipes. It's just cool. And for a buck and a quarter, I love the pictures. See, like, I just love it. I love it. And it says, every masterpiece starts with a blank canvas. List your long-term health goals and how you aim to get there. So when I'm, I guess, emotionally ready to really write my hopes, dreams, and aspirations on this journey that I'm on, I'll put it in there. And I just... I'm really, oh, what? Oh my God, I love this thing. I love any reference to the Wizard of Oz means that I'm home. Dorothy is proof that with a fabulous pair of heels, you can do anything. Yes, she is. Too bad my feet are like, heel, no. <laughs> heel, no heel. So my feet cannot handle heels. Well, 
wedgy platforms, yes, but spiky heels, big no. Now, I've wasted enough time on that. Oh, and my two pound bag of brown rice for $1.25. I picked up this really fancy schmancy um, brown rice medley at Stop and Shop the other day. It was like $5 for a small box. And then I realized that the brand was Ralston, which is the same company that was making oatmeal for the Dollar Tree recently. And that was a company that made dog food. So I don't even know how I feel about it. It used to be Ralston Purina and then they separated, didn't they? Or unless they're still a conglomerate. I don't know. I'm rambling. But um, I figured, you know what? If you're going to pay $5 for fancy rice, you can also get some of that Omega brown rice from the Dollar Tree and cook it up in the Instapot and have it when you decide to have some rice, obviously. And I picked up some of these again. Um, I saw them the other day and then I went back and I picked up some more because these are really wonderful for upcycling projects. And now I have four altogether. Um, I think six altogether in my stash because John and I do have some projects that we plan on putting together in the summer. And I just think that I have like a whole backyard fence worth of fence that we want to do some upcycling projects with. I mean, it's not like it's in a pile and we want to do some projects with it and I just feel like these are going to come in very handy so I have six packs of those I mean they're cast iron for a a dollar 25 how can you go wrong and then this one cooking for a fast metabolism eat more food and lose more weight I actually did find this book a while ago and we made some recipes out of it and then I gave it away during the holidays but I picked it up again because I need it. I need it in my life. And I don't know why I gave it away. We definitely are interested. We made like a salad out of here. We shared some of the recipes with you guys. Over 100 delicious recipes that will fire up your metabolism and turn your body into a fat burning machine. Yeah, we made um, like a fruit salad that had like citrus in it. It was really good. It had melon. Now I'm trying to remember if I actually shared that video or not. Can't remember chicken lettuce wraps with cranberry sauce. Yum. I don't know if I can have cranberry sauce. I am not putting sugar in a wrap, but oh, it uses xylitol to sweeten the cranberry sauce. I've never even thought to do that, use artificial sweetener. Well, I don't know how I feel about that. I have been consuming some artificial sweetener, but on very small scales, Easy turkey noodle casserole, sweet and sour chicken. Mm. They don't have pictures of every single recipe, but it's a very good cookbook. There are a lot of really, really exciting recipes in here. Chicken piccata, portobello black bean burgers, vegetarian baked lasagna, no pasta noodles. But you know what I've never seen in the gluten-free options? I have never seen gluten-free lasagna noodles. Is there no such thing? Comment down below if you've ever seen them. Oh, well, I mean, I would just probably make it with zucchini. And then look at how yummy this page looks. That page, oh, I think John already dog-eared this one again. So it's oven-baked stuffed pork roast. Okay, ooh, stuffed pork roast. I wonder what it's stuffed with. Apple cored and cut into small pieces. Butternut squash cubes. Mmm, sounds good. All right, so enough about that. This book looks delicious. It's making me hungry. Then, because we're getting over the flu, I've been every, you know, these are indispensable. If I didn't have these, I don't think I would have survived this flu. So, cold and flu, non drowsy, daytime formula multi-symptom and they are not joking 10 gel 10 of these soft gels for $1.25 is so valuable because one day um when I was really really sick when we first found out that we had the flu I went to CVS to pick up our Tamiflu and I was gonna get some of this there huh forget it I went directly to Dollar Tree and then went home and took everything and passed out because it, there wasn't a single cold remedy medication 
under $8 in CVS. So I was like, forget it. Then some of the most exciting items that have been in the Dollar Tree lately, let me share them all with you all at once. I don't think I have all that I have found in this basket. Okay, so there are some that I either don't have here or don't have it all anymore because I may have given them all away. But um, my favorite, and I've said it before, and I know nobody agrees, or I think, say, I know that not everyone agrees, but I was most devastated when Thrifty Tiffany said that she, she hated the smell of this. And then when Sweet Sadie J was like, she was like, I like it. I was like, oh, okay, all is well. Because this, obviously, these don't come in that kind of a top. They come with this cool packaging, the Hey Humans. I'm sure everyone out there has already seen them. But what I did with my body lotion is put an actual spray nozzle on it that was, I want to say it was from... Oh, I know what it was. Uh, my aunt was in the hospital. They used this spray foam soap to clean her. And um, they finish it like all the time. So I took the top off of it and it happened to fit perfectly on this. But I love how it comes out because this lotion is very, it's very fluid. It's very fine. And oh my God, I love the scent of it. it to me, it smells expensive and complicated complicated i love complicated i do it is definitely not your typical lavender vanilla scent and it's definitely lavender because i heard a lot of people say that it doesn't smell like lavender oh my god i love the smell of it it's so earthy it almost has like a lemongrass lavender vanilla scent to me, it smells like lemongrass, and I love, I love lemongrass. I love it. I love it. Love, love, love it. It smells like I've just walked into Aveda. I put a pump on the body wash, but I love the spray nozzle on the lotion because it's very watery lotion, and it feels good right after you come out of your shower. Just spray yourself all, all over, and... And it really softens and smooths your skin. It's not greasy. It's none of those things. This stuff is so good. It is a really good product. I can't believe that we're getting it in the Dollar Tree. Then the Banana Aloe Body Lotion. I also have the Banana Aloe somewhere here. I know I have a lot of them. Yes, the wash and the body lotion. We have that. And I love it. It smells like... Oh my gosh, it smells so good. But it also has like a very earthy banana scent. These are amazing, amazing scent profiles. They're wonderful. Then the Cedarwood Sage. I have been looking everywhere for the lotion because it's so good. It is so, so good. Ah. Normally, this would be my favorite because it's just amazing. The cedarwood sage is not even very strong, but honestly, the lavender vanilla is my favorite. When I use this, after I have washed with it in the shower and then spray blast myself, like I feel like I'm airbrushing myself with this lotion, after I've done both of those things, I catch myself smelling myself all day long and I have a lot of stuff but this scent it's something about it I'm really drawn to it and then we have the coconut mint oh my goodness so it's like it just keeps getting better and better and the first ones that I found were apple matcha but I started giving them away and I know that I have one of the body washes in my bathroom at home already I already started it but I honestly don't know what happened to the matcha lotion and it blows my mind. But, um, ah, oh, this is so good. It's neither here nor there because I don't have them with me right now. But so far I have found 
the absolutely my favorite of all of them, lavender vanilla in both the wash and the lotion. I have not found the lotion in the coconut mint. And on the day that I find the lotion for this coconut mint, I'm going to lose my mind because I feel like that would be the best foot lotion. <laughs> oh, this smells so good. The coconut mint is just perfect for winter. I love coke. I honestly, I just love mint. I love mint. Love it. I love that it's a blue container. I love everything about it. Then the cedarwood sage, like I told you guys, I only found the wash. So I've found two washes that have no mates. My apple matchas are missing somewhere. They might be in my car. It's been super cold lately. And the banana aloe. I don't know if there are other scents out there. If you have found a scent that I haven't mentioned, please let me know what it is so I can definitely be on the lookout because these are exciting. Then this came a while ago and I love stacking them like this until I need them. These are amazing. You guys already know. I mean, they've already been hauled, but I just, I wanted to share them with you because of course I have them. I actually have a lot more than these. I've bought several because they're perfect for gift giving. Like, I mean, perfect. You could put anything in here, anything, and it becomes a gift. The purple is just so pretty. I mean, lavender glitter happiness. The pink glitter happiness is just pink glitter happiness. And the blue teal glitter happiness is just blue, blue glitter happiness. I mean, amazing. Absolutely amazing fantastic dollar 25 scores but i could also see kids putting like easter eggs in here you could do anything with these anything they're so fun um just about anything you could put anything in here and it becomes a basket you could set this up like that you guys get what i'm saying and just fill it with stuff for the kids as their Easter baskets. I mean, obviously I wouldn't put this in the blue one. I would put it in the pink one. I mean, you could put anything in anything, but I honestly even like the idea of using these as an Easter basket base, which is why I bought so many of them because you can put the clear cellophane bag in here and it will keep it like that and hold the stuff up. And it's useful as opposed to maybe a basket that the kids won't use in the future. So I just, I love things that are useful for more than just a gift receptacle, if you guys get what I'm saying. So we do have the 100% waterproof floating pouch. I picked it up a while ago for myself, honestly. It does include the strap and we found this a long time ago. You guys have already seen it, but it's by the brand Dry Pro. It's not a Greenbrier product and I could always use this. Oh, Best Brands. I think that it's from Walmart. Best Brands is from Walmart, right, guys? Almost positive that that's where it's from. Then I did find these in a previous walkthrough, and I remember saying, like, I don't even know what this is. What are these things? Like, this is your actual eyeshadow, or you stencil over it. What comes in here? Because it says that it has the setting... And which one should I open? Okay, so both of them, see this one has like lace nail stickers and this one has zebra nail stickers. Now the nail stickers are great, but it says to how to apply eyeshadow appliques, um, place smooth, peel, blend, Oh, wait a minute. There's actual eyeshadow powder stuck to this. It's kind of like a Cricut. You know the transfer sticker for the Cricut? Like that, only it's eyeshadow. What? My mind is blown right now. And the lace one is even more crazy. Ooh, That'd be cool for Halloween, but not for nothing. You don't have to wear it in, in that direction. You can also wear maybe like two of them. Now I'm intrigued, but I just 
don't have eyes big enough for these kind of things. If I were to put this on my eyes, it would just look like I had a black eye. <laughs> Honestly, I don't, I never wear a lot of dark eyeshadow on my eyes. It doesn't work for me. If that was, but I, I love the idea of it. Imagine if it was like a butterfly print or, so there's so many possibilities. I didn't even know these things existed. I would like to see more styles and more color varieties. Huh. So in this container right here for a buck and a quarter, we do have a blending brush along with these eyeshadow, like transferable pre, so it's kind of like a pre-made, yeah, whoa. Did you guys realize that that's what those are? You're basically applying it to your eye, which I'm not gonna do, and you're transferring the shadow onto your eye, and then you're using this to blend it in, which it's kind of a nice little blender brush, actually. Pretty nice. And there's a little bit of setting powder. I, 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 this is something that's out of my realm of makeup ability. I don't, I could probably put it on someone else. No problem. I could put this and transfer it onto someone that's got big eyes. No problem. But if I tried to put this on, it would definitely be lackluster. But these nail stickers are fun. I like those. And you know what? I did get a couple of each. They had tons in the store. I will probably wear the nails at some point when I feel like wearing black and white nails, maybe in the summer, in a week that I feel like wearing a lot of black and white stripes. Sometimes I get into those moods in the summer. I love black and white and like a patent leather tote. I love that whole look. And the lacy ones are actually super pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, yeah, so... It's really cool, but I can see somebody maybe wearing them like for Halloween and doing, I don't know, upside down or right side up. I don't know. They're cool, and I know that there are people out there that are going to really rock these. Take a walk on the wild side with a touch of lace, and honestly, all joking aside, they're going to experience something that I feel like a lot of people did not even know existed because... Raise your hand if you had no clue this was possible. Uh, right here, no clue, clueless. Even when I found them, I was like, I don't know, I'm so excited and I don't even know what this is because I still don't fully comprehend it. But I get the nail stickers are nail stickers. That I get. Then I picked up tweezers because I just never have enough tweezers. When I saw these, I was like, yep, just come, I need you. I'm here and I'm gonna need to pluck a little bit. I'm gonna need to pluck at some point today and I'm happy that I'm doing this haul because I'm not in my house, but not that that means anything. I could buy a 100 sets of tweezers and when it's time to pluck a hair, there's not a tweezer in the house. So, I'm I and these I love. So these are obviously a rebuy for me, but this one right here is like the tweezer of all tweezers. I really, really love it. Oh my gosh, butter fingers. Or should I say bumblebee fingers because this pack of bumblebee stickers, I just couldn't leave it behind. I've bought it so many times. And the funny thing is that I didn't put it in my Be Kind collab. I forgot to, but um, I love them. I always give it to kids or like my, my nieces. I just think that they're so cute and... Yeah, so I grabbed them and they're in the bin. Of, I'm probably going to give that to the girls. Speaking of the girls, I wanted to give this to them tonight and I forgot they're sleeping now. I found these a while ago and I grabbed some, but I was hoping to find more for donating purposes and I really never found a ton. So I brought some to the small cocoa event that I went to because I didn't grab a ton of them to begin with. But um, I, I know the girls are both going to want red. And then I got a blue one and then I got a purple one for them to share. And these are so cool. Crayola Body Soap Stamper, Firefly Red, Vivid Violet, or Blue. And aren't they so, 
well, the red one is obviously the same, but I'm just saying I have four. They're going to use the stampers to stamp each other's faces, I'm sure, while they're in the bathtub. There's a star, a flower, or the heart shape. For a buck and a quarter, I know that people are finding all kinds of amazing Crayola scores, but this, this was my holy grail of Crayola. It's a body stamper and it's sea bubbles blue, sorry. And yeah, vivid violet, sea bubbles blue, and firefly red. I They didn't have green. Let me know in the comments down below if you found these and if you found green and what's the stamper sponge um, situation. But these are cool. The few that I gave away, they were, the few that I gave away, they were definitely cool. There are three ounces for $1.25. Those were cool stocking stuffers. Um, I just, I never found tons of them. So I don't know what that's about. It's like a lot of the things that are popping in, they're popping in and they're making a mini appearance and they are out quick. I survived. We are being haunted. I love these Jurassic World socks. Like I actually love Jurassic World, the movies. And I know my son is going to dig these. They're super cool. They fit size six and a half to 12. And they're just fun socks. We are being hunted right there. Just cool it is. And it has the footprints all over it. All of these fun socks are a fun sock time. Let me tell you, everybody needs socks and it's cold outside. So yes to that all the time. Then this, I found this when I found the um, Red's Lip Palette, but I didn't get around to hauling it. But it's cute, guys. It is a cream multi-stick balm multi-stick, it says. Really, it is, it's by BCBG Cream Multi-Stick, and then it's in written in French as well baton multi-stick but the name of the color is rose gold it's kind of like a highlighter as I do know that I have one open but you guys know that me and my highlighter it's okay if I have two I'm the kind of person that goes through a lot of highlighter but um I mean it is a multi-stick because you can use it I thought that it was also a chapstick but then I kind of realized that they mean I guess that you can use it anywhere it's really pretty. Do you guys see that? It's super duper pretty. It's almost bedtime, but it never um, have a single problem with applying some more shiny stuff to my skin. It definitely has like that peachy, wintry, like rose gold, like you've just gotten your cheeks kissed by by the cold like like you're just your cheeks are all rosy from being out in the cold kind of color I think it's a very very pretty rose blush but I like that it's a cream I love cream blushes and I love that it's kind of like a highlighter so to find BCBG now this isn't like crazy expensive but when I was younger BCBG was not something that you would find at Dollar Tree. It was TJ Maxx kind of brand. At, at worst, it was a TJ Maxx brand. Something that you were lucky to find at TJ Maxx. So to get it for $1.25 at Dollar Tree is crazy. Another item that's in the Dollar Trees right now that I think is awesome to consider putting in here are these adorable face masks. The packaging on these face masks is delightful. And so is the scent. I've already tried this one and I love it. Well, I mean, not this one, but because it's uplifting. Well, I think they all say, oh no, they don't all. But see, I just gravitate. Anything that says lift, I'm on it. And really it's uplifting. I wouldn't say like that it tightens your skin as much as it's just so fun. This is a fun mask. The scent is fun. The packaging is fun. It is uplifting for sure. And it's by Taste Beauty for $1.25.
and would look so cute in those dupe caboodles. Then there is the option of, this is perfect for an Easter basket with gummy bears, or put it in the pink jar that's shaped like a bear and then fill it with gummy bears. There's so many things you can do. Or put the bear in the caboodle, put it all in the bag. You guys get it. It's all interchangeable. That's what I love about $1.25 scores. And may they stay at $1.25 a little bit longer because I know soda is going up to $1.75, but I've heard rumors that all the prices are going up to $1.50. So I don't know. But soda is definitely becoming $1.75 in a couple of days. Now, face masks by Taste Beauty um, are just a couple dollars in stores, but still you're saving a little bit of money. And if you're buying quite a few, you're saving a little bit of more money. This one is anti-stress gummy bear scented. So we have gummy bear scented. We have the strawberry or what was it called again? Very berry scented. We've got these wonderful donut scented, beautiful. Love that packaging. Love it, love it, love it. It looks like Fruit Loops actually, but they're donuts. I'm sorry the lighting has to be better, guys. And also calming ice cream scented. Yes, I love love this packaging and I love the idea of putting all of them into one of he these and adding some other goodies in as you know what the person would enjoy what else should I show oh I did pick up a couple of these because they are no added sugar they have malitol milk chocolate truffles with coconut filling just in case I feel like going off the rails I won't have to go that far because these are not so awful if I do fall off the rails. And I do love coconut. So I bought two boxes of these just to have, just in case you guys know. And if I don't use them anytime soon, I could always toss them in a little emergency Valentine gift. And what else? I have so many things all around me. Oh, now remember I told you guys about these crazy undies that I also had a third style that I had found with the bear whose eyes are like gleaming red. This is them. I don't know what these stand for, but my son actually is quite amused by these <laughs> boxers. I think more amused, the weirder they are, the more he likes them. So I've only found weird ones, which is so crazy. I was hoping to find like the Star Wars ones or even the ones that had like picnic foods, like burgers and hot dogs, I thought were cool. But Chris really likes these bizarre animal ones. So I picked up two of those in the XL because they do kind of run snug. And um, I found this the other day and I want to haul it because it's practically already been used by someone, but I couldn't leave it behind. Who remembers this, you guys? This is the Hard Candy Glow All The Way infused with 24 karat gold Glamazon Bronze Face and Body Luminizer. This is number 318. And honestly, when they, when they had these in the stores, they had them everywhere. I, when I found it, I knew that it had to be like something that they got because they're doing inventory. But, um... It doesn't smell bad, and I mean, obviously somebody opened it, decided that they didn't want it, and left it behind. I don't care, I bought it, because I love this product to put on my skin. That's what it looks like in the summer if I'm wearing like a dress or a skirt. This is a wonderful product. You can also use it as highlight, and you could do whatever you want with it, but I've had this before and I love it. It is hard candy, but it's one of those really wonderful products by, by hard candy. And the, the crazy thing is that it it's also, I don't, I feel like at some point it, they changed where they were making it, but this says that it's from Brussels, Belgium. I don't know, but I loved, I loved this when it was in the Dollar Tree. I absolutely loved it. I loved a lot of hard candy products 
when they would trickle into the Dollar Tree. That is for sure. But this blast from the past was wonderful. And it says that you can apply it to face, body for a luminous, sun-kissed bronze glow. But I usually put it on my legs. That is what I really loved doing with this. And I didn't have any more. And I was so psyched to find it. It's moments like that that just kill you in the Dollar Tree. A store I've been to for ages from the time that they had those. And to just find that on Prom 2 out of nowhere, it was fate for me. It was just sitting there and I couldn't believe it. So I did share that I'm wearing this lipstick with you, but it turns out I didn't bring the rest of the stuff in the line with me. I will have to hold off and show that to you guys in my next haul. And for the moment, I'm going to show you guys these awesome polishes. Well, I don't really know how awesome they are yet. I have not yet tried them, but the colors are awesome. Awesome. I'm going to possibly try this tonight. I think hot pink might be fun. Do they have a name? No name. We're going to call this hot pink sparkle explosion. I love it. Or neon pink. And then this is like almost neon-y. I don't know. It's like a neon red. It's so cool. I love it. Love it. And then this is like an orange. I mean, it's not like an orange. It's orange. And I love orange. You guys know that. Maybe I'll do orange. Should I do orange? Maybe I'll do orange. And look at this glitter happiness. Let's see what this is about. I wonder if these are good or old or I don't know. They popped up and I haven't seen them anywhere else. Usually when the Dollar Tree gets polishes, all the stores get the same polish. But that wasn't the case with these. I found a bunch of them and then I haven't seen them since. It's like that's what this is. Okay, so it's definitely like iridescent sparkle. Yeah, I love it. You guys know that I love me some glitter. Oh my gosh, the little girls tonight were telling me, um, she was like, our skirts have sprinkles on them. Sprinkles? Spri sprinkles? And, and I said, you mean sparkles? And she said, yes, sparkles. And I said, we wear sparkles, but we eat sprinkles. And sometimes we get to sprinkle sparkles. And that's the best. And she said, yes, we get to sprinkle sparkles. And that's the best. It was the most best conversation I've had in ages, <laughs> you guys. Oh, my gosh. When you get to talk to kids about glitter and sparkles, life is good. So... Maybe I'll do my nails with this glitter pop. Oh, we already established that. I don't know. I'm torn between the orange and the neon pink. And you guys know that I may end up doing both because I just cannot help myself sometimes. But this polish, this neon pink polish, it looks to be um, the kind of polish that you're going to need maybe three coats of. It's not super thick. Like, it's not a one-and-done type of polish, but it is definitely fluorescent, and I love that. I think I'm going to end the video here, you guys, because it's super late, and I don't want to keep people up and make a lot of noise. But um, I'm really excited that I brought this stuff with me, and it gave me a chance to spend a little time with you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this remote haul video. And if you did, please make sure to leave the video a thumbs up and comment down below about anything and everything that you would like to share with me. I want you all to know how much I appreciate each and every person who clicks on my thumbnails and comes and watches my videos, whether they're Dollar Tree videos or any type of content that I decide to put out into this community. I am so grateful that you guys actually come and watch. To those of you who watch all of my videos, a special thank you. To my channel members, a special thank you. A special, special thank you to you all for being here right now in this moment and sharing it with me. And with that, my friends, I will close the video and say, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye, guys.